all right what's going on you guys welcome back to the channel so today i am going to the java showroom to check out their new parag bobber and also test ride it and since java is a kind of retro motorcycle so i'm not taking this today instead i'm going there on a bullet that's the bike Alright, so I'm all set to leave. Let's head to the Java showroom. Right. So my friends are also coming with me on another bullet. There they are. On the white bullet. Just got out of the city. So the reason I'm taking a bullet today is called Java being a retro motorcycle is going to be a big big competition for bullets in the coming years and me as you as you guys know that I am not a bullet guy so and also I am going to ride a Java for the first time so I just wanted to ride both the motorcycles back to back to see what they feel like, the differences in acceleration, braking, suspension etc etc and they are kind of similar motorcycles and also both the motorcycles being in the same price category java has a big big advantage in the power and torque figures over the bullet also the java is very light as compared to the bullet so let's see how it's to ride i'm heading to the java showroom in thane there's one more showroom in washi if you guys uh, are interested to visit the showroom now most of you guys might recognize this road, the filthy and risky Mumra bypass. Just reaching Thane, the showroom is just across Viviana Mall. There is the Java showroom, just beside CF Moto showroom, which quite frankly I am not interested in visiting at all. So there are a lot of Javas around us. So until the test ride bike comes in, let's check out the motorcycles. This is the original Java. Nice phantom black color. These are the Java 42s. A lot of color options. This one in white is looking very classy. elements everywhere that's what Java's are known for nice gold cluster this fuel cap is gorgeous just look at it nice touch and finally this is the bike we are here for the Java Perak Bobber this is not their test ride bike so let's check it out in detail later when I actually ride it. But I can tell already that it's a very tempting motorcycle. Alright. Let's just ride the Java Perak Bobber. The engine has a nice drive to it. definitely a lot quicker than I expected it to be the suspension is nice and soft soaks 
of the bomb really nicely. Alright, so let's stop here for a quick walk around. Seat height is pretty low as we expect it to be on a bobber. Look at that. This is possibly the best angle to look at the bike. The seat section looks amazing. Prices are going to be around 1.96 lakh like Exuru Mumbai. Looks identical to the other Java models from the front. Halogen headlamp, vibrate brake calipers, Gabriel suspension, nice big radiator. The twin exhaust pipes look good too. Let's hear it. Pretty loud for a stock pipe. Rear mono shock just under the seat. Unique LED tail lamp just under the seat. It's very small. Overall build quality is very nice. Different swing arm. Vibray brake calipers at the rear as well. Dual channel ABS. The golden pin stripes add a nice detail to the bike. The engine is a liquid cooled 334 cc single cylinder which produces around 30 ps of power and 31 Nm of torque. So that's way powerful if you compare it with a bullet. Nice retro speedometer, retro fuel cap, perec badging on the tank, then nicely stitched leather seat. Alright, let's head back to the showroom. Unfortunately, I couldn't ride it for much time. The showroom guys aren't allowing anyone to ride it for much time. Hell, they didn't even allow me to mount a GoPro at first, so I just stopped the bike far from the showroom and mounted it. That's not a good practice, Java. They are too afraid about negative comments on the bike, but being a brand, you should be open for negative and positive both. So that's something guys should learn also java is a small brand so they need marketing and if they don't allow youtubers to review and ride the bike then how are they planning to grow in india all right so this is it from the riding part i'll just stop here and take off my gopro again and head back to the showroom so that's it for today if you are new to subscribe to the channel for more automotive content and i'll see you guys in the next video cheers Bye.